The Order of Commendation Service for the late Otsumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun was held on Thursday, the 6th of July, 2023, at the Cathedral Church of Christ, Marina, Lagos. The service was officiated by a host of clergymen led by the Provost, Very Reverend Dr. Adebola Ojofeitimi. In attendance were former Head of State, General Yakubu Gawan and wife, Victoria Gawan, Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, former Governor of Ogun State and Senator representing Ogun East Senatorial District, Otsumba Bengo Daniel and wife, Yeye Olufunke Daniel, President of the Africa Development Bank, Dr. Akiumi Adeshino, among many others. The service started at a reception of the remains of the deceased, led by the Provost of the Church, Very Reverend Dr. Adebola Ojofeitimi. The epistle was taken by son of the deceased, Bolaji Balogun, from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 47 to 58. The gospel was taken from John 6, 25 to 40, by Right Reverend James Ulushalao Dedeji, Bishop of Lagos West. In his address, the Bishop of Lagos Mainland, Right Reverend B.C. Akinkbelu Johnson, described the late Otsumba Michael Olashubumi Balogun as a great man who showed immense strength of character and determination during his lifetime, adding that his strong faith in God was demonstrated in his commendable acts of kindness, generosity, and humility. As we thank God for the courage that Otsumba had in undertaking this venture, so we thank God too that Dr. Alex Ekweme did not forget what Otumba had done for him. Many people forget, but he did not forget. And he assisted in helping to make sure that the license for the bank was given. Unlike Joab, the commander of David's army, who forgot David, his commander-in-chief. Otumba never forgot his God. In spite of all that God had blessed him with, in the words of the motto of the boys' brigade, Otumba remained sure and steadfast in the faith. His faith in Jesus was unshakable. Even though he had been born into a Muslim family, the courage to change, to become a Christian when he attended Ibobi College was something that we should commend him for. This was followed by the prayer of the faithful, Eucharistic rituals and administration of the Holy Communion. The service also featured special songs in honor of the deceased by different societies and groups. There was also the rendition of the Hallelujah Chorus by the Cathedral Choir.
the order of commendation service came to an end after the withdrawal hymn. The final rites of passage for Tumba Michael Olashobumi Balugun continued on Friday, the 7th of July 2023, in Ijebude with a service of songs which featured melodious soul lifting hymns rendered by different choir groups in honor of Atumba Michael Olashobumi Balugun, who was a great lover of music during his lifetime. The wake service for Tumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun CON followed next, the same day, at the Otumba Tuashe Courts, Ijebude, Ogun State. In attendance were Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwabiodun, former Governor of Ogun State and Senator representing Ogun East Senatorial District, Otumba Gbenga Daniel and wife, Yeye Olufunke Daniel, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, Prince Bisio Latilo, among many others. The first Bible reading was taken by Jide Balugun, son of the deceased, from the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 9. The second Bible reading was taken by another son of the deceased, Buiga Balugun, from Romans chapter 8, verse 32 to 39. The third Bible reading was taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 to 10, by Ladi Balogun, son of the deceased. Testimonies of Otumba Michael Olashubumi Balogun were shared by Otumba engineer Ebenezer Oshoba, who represented the age grade, or Regbe Regbe, of which the late Otumba Michael Olashubumi Balogun was Baba Egbe. To our Egbe, he was generous, humble, and loving. He shared our joys and sorrows with passion over the past 34 years as our Baba Egbe. He was very open with us by treating us as his younger brothers. The Balance Aburos. We were all his Aburos. No matter where he saw us, we would say Aburo, Baoni Konshilo. And continuously reminding us of the need to imbibe some characters essential for a good and successful life. They include respect and love for others in any relationship. Also, Jide Balogun, son of the deceased, and the rights Reverend Dr. Baba Tunde Ogubanwo paid glowing tributes to the deceased. As I reflect the legacy he left for us, I cannot but think the most valuable of them is the name you have left behind. And what not too much for the Balogun connotes to many who shared and or were present in the full life of him. For your children, grandchildren, and generations on board will continue to take benefit from your name. It will always be a source of pride, inspiration, determination, and make us all strive for the better angels of our nature and follow your example. For years, I will sign off my greeting cards to you, Will, from your proud and grateful son. These words have taken a far greater significance since your passing, as I continue to acknowledge the scale of the legacy you left and how incredibly blessed I was to have a father like you. Baba was an excellent giver. And I like to say it here as a pastor. I should say this here, I am not preaching. Baba Shubumi loved God. He loved God. He served God. And then he loved the workers. The way Baba will relate with us. Some people don't have the money Baba has. They are so arrogant. When they see you as a priest, they look down on you. When we come to the house of Baba Shubomi, either you are wearing cassock or not, if he knows that you are a servant of God, the respect he will give you, you will be thinking, is it the same? 
is a, he was a big man. He has money, but he loved God. The ceremony featured special ministrations by the Dao Session Women Choir. In his exaltation, writes Rev. Dr. Peter Rotsimio Ludikwe, enjoined Christians to reflect on their personal relationship with God and described the late Otumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun as a man who, during his lifetime, ascribed all the glory to God for all his successes. Papa, no doubt, lived a beautiful life, but yet he went through challenges. He went through difficulties. But with faith, unwavering faith, and confidence in the never failing ability of God, he was not disappointed. He was not put to shame. And that God that he served proved himself a mighty God in his life. And I dare say to each of us tonight that God has no favorite. What he did for others, he can do for you. What he has done for Papa Shubomi, he can do also for you if you will put your trust and confidence in him. The governor of Ogun State, Springs Dakwa Biodu, who started his remark with a special number, described the deceased as an inspiration a philanthropist per excellence and pioneer of entrepreneurial banking in Nigeria, a role model to many, and a good man who served God with a sense of purpose. Baba was an inspiration. Baba was a mentor. Baba was a role model to me and to many of people like me that are here that may not be here. Baba was a philanthropist par excellence. In my tribute to him, I wrote, I said, Baba was a pioneer of entrepreneurial banking. He was what is described as the baron of the capital market. Baba was as intellectual as he was charming. Baba was so good looking, handsome, had an infectious smile. We condole with our Olori, the matriarch of this family, all the children and grandchildren. We say to you, Ekuara Feraku, Ekuara Zehinde Baba, Aniri Akufa. I want to thank all those that have come from far and near to be part of this sent forth for Baba. And all those who will still be coming tomorrow, a lot more people will be coming tomorrow. My prayer is that the Almighty God that has brought you here safely today will take all of you back home safely in Jesus' mighty name.
The event was brought to an end after the final prayer was said by the Most Reverend Dr. Lucian of Akbe. The funeral service for the late Otumba Dr. Michael Olashubumi Balogun C.O.N. was held on Saturday, the 8th of July, 2023, at the Cathedral Church of Our Saviour, Ijebuode, in Ogu State, Nigeria. President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu was represented by the Vice President of Nigeria, Senator Kashim Shetima, G.C.O.N. Former Head of State, General Yakubu Gowan and wife, Mrs. Victoria Gowan. Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Biodo. The Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajidi Sonwolu. Former Governor of Ogun State and Senator representing Ogun East Senatorial District, Otsumba Gbengo Daniel and wife, Yeye Olufunke Daniel. Former Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikuli Amosu. Former Governor of Bielsa State, Senator Henry Siriake Dixon. Pa Ayuade Banjo. Chief Razak Okoya. Chief Emeka Ayonko, Africa's richest man, Alahaji Aliko Dangote, Justice Adesha Laoguntade, Chairman and CEO, Guregu Power PLC, Mr. Femi Otedola, the Chairman and CEO, Biscon Communications, Prince Bissio Latilo, President of the Africa Development Bank, Dr. Akiumi Adeshino, Special Advisor to the President on Monetary Policy, Mr. Wali Edu, among many others. There was also a long list of traditional rulers, religious leaders, captains of industry, lawmakers and members of the diplomatic corps who came from far and wide to honor the late Otsumba Michael Olashubumi Balugu. The first reading for the service was taken by Right Reverend Joshua Onyilola from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 15 while the epistle was taken by the Bishop of Egba Diocese, Right Reverend Emmanuel Adekunle, from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. In the sermon themed, The Righteous Will Be Separated from the Wicked on Judgment Day, the Bishop of Remo Diocese, Most Reverend Michael Fakwe, he described the deceased, Otsumba Michael Olashubumi Balogun, as a genuine example of a life in Christ, and the man who demonstrated practical Christianity, serving God with great passion till the end. Brethren, he was a friend of the church. He contributed immensely to the progress of the church of God. Today, we can say one thing which marked out this man was his sense of gratitude to God. He was a committed Christian who was appreciative of the grace of God in his life. For him, all of his achievements in life were credited to the benevolence of God and His grace. He had touched lives. He had impacted his generation positively, and his footprints are on the sand of time. For whoever cares to notice them. The over 206 branches of the FCMB, with over 12,000 workforce, are eloquent testimonials of his impactful life. A philanthropist of no mean stature, through his foundation, or to our two foundation, the legacies of Otuba Shubomi Balogun are all over this country in health and educational sectors, with special reference to Iye Shubomi Child Care Center, a fully equipped, air-conditioned, 40-bed children's center at the Jebo General Hospital here, and the Otuba Tuashi National Pediatric Center, donated to the University of Ibadan, along Shagamu, Bini Road here. Otuba Shubomi Balogun was a recipient of many national and international awards and I want to tell you, among them, just two, American Biographical Institute Incorporation Distinguished Leadership Award for outstanding contribution to the development of investment banking and the University of Ibadan degree of Doctor of Law, Honoris Causa, in recognition of his outstanding achievements, both in the field of law and his contributions to the social economic development of Nigeria. Indeed, this illustrious son of Ijebu in Ogun State and indeed Nigeria and the entire world will not be easily forgotten in the memory of people because it continues to live. This was followed by prayers of the faithful, the Eucharistic rituals, administration of the Holy Communion and post-communion prayers. The event featured special renditions by the choir soul-lifting hymns, special thanksgiving and prayers for the deceased and members of his family, led by Reverend Folorosha Osifwa.
In the remarks of the governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwabiodo, he expressed the light at a deserving farewell given to Otumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun and described the deceased as a prodigious intellectual who established himself as a pioneer of entrepreneurial banking in Nigeria. Today, we are gathered here to bid a farewell to the great Otumba Olashubumi Michael Balogun, C-O-N. A proud, illustrious son of Ijebuland, Ogun State and Nigeria by extension. And I'm extremely delighted and humbled. And I feel very honored as one of Baba's sons and his governor to stand here to eulogize and make a few remarks about these business colossus of our time. Baba, we all know, was a prodigious intellectual having attended Igobi College and the prestigious London School of Economics. Well, I came back and served as a lawyer in the Ministry of Justice and then joined the banking industry from where he ventured into the capital market, where he distinguished himself as the baron of the capital market. On behalf of my family, the government and the good people of this great state, we offer our deepest condolences to Olori, the boys, the spouses, and the entire Shubuni Balogu dynasty, the Awujale and Palmont ruler of Ijebu land, and all sons and daughters of Ogun State. May the Lord forgive Baba's sins, accept and grant the repose of his soul, Omoriri Agbe Mbubuwao. To all those who have come from far and near, I wish you Johnny masses back to your various destinations. God bless you. Thank you very much for listening to me. The funeral service for the late Otumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun C.O.N. ended with a hallelujah chorus, final hymn, and recession. The remains of the late Otumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun thereafter departed the church for a private final interment. A grand reception was held to celebrate the great life lived by the late Otumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun, Otumba Tuashe of Ijebu land and Ashiwajo of Ijebu Christians at the Otumba Tuashe court, Ijebu Ode in Ogun State. The event started at solemn music rendition by Shegun Olayemi, popularly known as Arugbo Ojo, who has been Otumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun's favorite gospel musician for over 14 years. On the bandstand was evangelist Dr. Ebenezer Obey. The vintage band was also on ground to support and the supply of highly invigorating music. It was indeed a moment of intense celebration of a life well spent, as family members, friends and associates of the late Otsumba Michael Olashobumi Balogun celebrated till the very end, with the children, wife and grandchildren of the deceased taking turns to dance to the music of the vintage band who treated them to different idioms of contemporary Nigerian music. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
From Biscon Communications, it's farewell to Otsumba Michael Olashubumi Balugu, CON.